I have done it. I have combined three different ship types to make the ultimate god tier ship ultimate power, ultimate speed. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how it is done. I was opening up an Amazon package this morning. When I opened it up and looked inside, there was two small bags of candy. I opened them up too and started to eat them. That's when I realized it was not candy I was eating, but in fact, the silicon packet to take the moisture out of the bag. And that got me thinking, what if I could combine a normal mechanical ship, a living ship, and the brand new Sentinel ships together what would that look like what kind of godliness could i create with such a mixture well in today's video i am pleased to announce that i got it working and most importantly it is amazing so let's get right on into today's video so the first ship we are going to be using in today's video is a sentinel ship it can be any sentinel ship that you want but we are going to do some prep work in order to make it as powerful as possible. Now, what I'm doing right here is just unlocking all of its slots and taking it from this ship by itself is a B class. We're going to take that all the way up to an S class and we're going to install all the technology that we want before we do the glitch. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so all technology is installed and it is all organized to how I would like it. So as you can see here, all normal Sentinel technology exists. There's nothing else in there yet that would make it a god tier. This is just baseline a Sentinel ship. Now, whilst I do have your attention very quickly, can I just ask that by the end of this video, if I have earned your subscription, to smash that subscribe button down below and also leave a like on the video. That would be incredibly helpful and it will make sure that this video gets seen by as many people that want to take advantage of such a glitch. So for the next step, you'll need to have somebody join your game. This can be either on an alt account like I've done right here. This is my Xbox account, a friend or a stranger from the anonymous or you can go ahead and join my discord link in the video description down below and I'm sure somebody from my community will be able to give you a hand no problems so once you've got your friend and they have landed in the space station what they want to do is go ahead and buy a random ship that lands it doesn't matter what it is what type they just need to go ahead and buy the ship from the NPC. Now, their ship will be still landed and they'll be using that in just a moment. But right now, just make sure you instruct them to go and buy the very first ship that they see. Once they have gone ahead and done that, they will then jump back into their original ship that they came into the space station with and fly off into space. Now, what they are going to be doing is they're going to get out a little bit into space and then they're going to go ahead and call in the freighter. You, in the meantime, are going to go next to the ship that they have just purchased and you're going to wait for them to call in the freighter and you'll notice something happen. You will be able to claim the ship completely for free without any dialogue whatsoever you'll just be able to go ahead and jump right into it so they've called in the freighter and you're able now to go ahead and jump into that ship now go into your starship menu and you will see that all of the technology that you have installed already on the sentinel ship the one that we started with will be instantaneously transferred over to the new ship but now what you can also do is install non-sentinel tech, so normal mechanical ship tech, in this ship. So that's what you're going to go ahead and do next. Make sure that you jump in and out of your ship and make a save point. I always recommend doing that whenever you do a glitch, just so then you have somewhere to come back to in case anything messes up. So here we go. We're just going to install now some random pieces of technology. All right, so once you've installed everything, jump out, make a save point, and go back into the ship and give it a small test date. So this is a normal god tier ship just by itself, but instead of having just normal living components in, we've not done that yet. This is just a sentinel and mechanical ship hybrid. And as you can see, it's fairly powerful and very reminiscent of god ships of old. Now you could stop here and have an overly powerful ship, but we are going to take things now 
a step further. So once you've done playing about testing your new god tier ship, come back to the space station and land. It doesn't matter where it is that you land, just as long as you do. Now, what you're going to do is wait for some NPCs to land. Now, their ships may look small. It's all part of the glitch. If they still look normal size, again, it doesn't impact what we're about to do. Just claim the very first ship that you see. In my case, I'm going to get either this ship or the one behind. Probably the one behind because I just think it looks better. But get that ship and then we're going to take it down to a planet. Now, whilst you are doing this, you are going to leave your ship, your god tier ship, in the space station behind. And your friend is still going to be in the same system. And he's still going to be out in space with his freighter called. He does not move yet whilst you are doing this. So once you get down to a planet, we're going to go ahead and land. Now, if you want to make this into the ultimate god tier ship with the ultimate amount of power, you are now going to need a living ship for this to work. So when you're on the planet surface, you're going to call in a living ship. I have one to hand right here. You're going to call it down and then you're going to go ahead and take it back up to the space station. So as we are making our way up into the space station, get your friend to go inside of the space station as well. But make sure at this point he leaves his freighter exactly where it is. Now, when we land in the space station, we're going to go ahead and buy an NPC ship. It can be anyone. It doesn't matter. If it's not one for you, you will need to wait until a wave comes in. But for this demonstration purpose right here, we have one available to us. Now, your friend will go next to your ship as you buy this one. So you're going to go and exchange your living ship for this normal mechanical ship i hope that makes sense now your friend is going to go ahead and buy that ship from the npc that appears because remember you've just traded the npc ship for a living ship for whatever ship he has so once your friend is able to go ahead and claim that ship he'll be able to claim it for free that will now be his ship so once that happens, your friend will run back to his original ship, the one that he started all this with, and he'll fly back out into space. But what he's going to do is recall his freighter in another part of space, not directly next to the same freighter, but just a little bit further across. Once he does that, you will be able to jump into his living ship, or the one that you give him, again completely for free you'll just be able to take it over now once we go on the inside of it you can see we have normal technology we have sentinel technology and we will also have the ability to install living ship technology such as the spewing vents and so on it is incredible and the amount of damage for example you put in when you put in the spewing vents now goes up to just over 5 million dps which is insanely stupid and you can put in all of the trinkets as well to give yourself a nice speed boost to, to go with that but we're going to get everything now installed and we're going to take this puppy out for a ride and see what it's capable of so our first flight test here you can see we will take off from the space station everything is perfectly normal until we go ahead and do some asteroid hunting you can see the sheer amount of power that is now emanating from your beams it is ridiculous these cannons are in super god tier overdrive now we also install some thrusters in this to let's see how fast it gets us down to a planet Oh my goodness, it is virtually instantaneous and you can see just how fast we are approaching the planet's surface. Now, one of the problems that persisted with the old god tier ships was that the complaint was when you go ahead and leave the game, then all of your technology would be removed and you would have to go ahead and install everything all over again. However, with my testing, so you can see right here, I've gone ahead and installed all three types of technology. Jump in and out, let's make a save point. Now, with my testing, when I go ahead and reload the game 
look what happens. Now, I'm not going to edit any of this out. This is real time. I want to show you what happened in my use case here. Now, I've not tested this out on console specifically, so your mileage may vary, but as it stands with a reload, everything seems to keep exactly where it was placed, which is extra, extra nice. Let me know down in the comment section below if anything disappears for you, if you've gone ahead and done this on console or PC, so then we can see just exactly what it is we're dealing with, but for my testing, everything seems to be kept into place. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have a brand new God tier ship on the block, combining all three ship types together, it's very spicy indeed. But let me know in the comments section if you are going to attempt this. Do you still have an original God tier ship from way back in the day? Let me know your thoughts about combining all three together. Comment section down below, you know what to do. Anyway, guys, that is everything from me here today. And as always, my name is Professor Cynical, and I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now.